same for those them. Things. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, and everyone was like, "Why are they so upset? Yeah. Why is everyone crying?" Yeah. And every, everyone, in, uh, all the different departments had, had just been briefed to that they didn't have anything special to prepare. Yeah. So, Phil, uh, our props master, didn't know I would need the sonic screwdriver because, of course, he hadn't read the script. Of course. And I said, I need the sonic. And Phil's face just because Phil is an immaculate. Yeah. He is known as the Grand Master of Props. Grand Master. And then <laughs> he is, but of course, because he's the Grand Master, he brought it with him just in case. So that was a, a lucky escape. Thank God. Goes without saying that it was freezing cold this it was, day. All it our was so cold. biggest scenes are yeah. all, always done with snotty noses. With snotty noses, yeah. But it helped. Yeah. I remember having a lot of discussion as well about because my you can see my hair blowing about. <laughs> and if I'm actually in the TARDIS, then strictly speaking, my hair wouldn't be blowing about because I'm true. just a projection. That's true. And then we decided not to worry about that too sure, much. Sure, you can. Yeah. <laughs> About two minutes. It's a beautifully written scene, isn't yeah. it? I mean, you just you just had to play it, really. It's so it was easy in yeah. a way. Yeah. It, it, it could have been hard, but it wasn't because it was so so real. Yeah. There's five of us now: mum, dad, Mickey, and the baby. You're not. No, <laughs> it's mum. <laughs> Jackie's baby. The way. No, they didn't work well. No, they <laughs> didn't work they? Mind you, they've, they've had a few years yeah, apart. missing each other. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm not. So the torch on this planet is open for business. I love it. She's a galactic avenger now. Oh, no. Perfect. Rose Tyler, defender of the Earth. You're dead. Officially back home. <laughs> I was thought it was such a harsh line. So many people died that day and you've gone missing. You're on the list of the dead. Here you are. Living a life day after day. The one adventure I can never have. <laughs> Am I ever gonna see you again? <laughs> We're just sitting watching this. It? It's very difficult to comment, really. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Ah, oh, both TARDIS. Same old life, last of the Time Lords. Beautiful. I love this. Was that a choice you made to, to not be able to quite get it out first yeah. time? Yeah, I didn't think of that at first, and then it came to me. Quite right. Got me every time. <laughs> Did it work? It did. And I suppose. No, I wasn't sure if you'd made a decision or if you were just literally couldn't do it. No. <laughs> just have to. I just wanted to ring it out. Yeah. Of the Make him suffer. <laughs> Is that random ear hair? Is it? Oh, no, that's just a bit of frizzy hair at the back, I think. That's a bit of my Angora sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did we do this? About five? Yeah, there was a couple of wide shots, and then yeah. I think there was... We did, like, three close-ups. Yeah, but, but I think we had two cameras, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So you didn't have to repeat it too much. But, I mean, it was quite... Oh, was... A big deal for Moira, my makeup artist, because yeah, yeah. every time she was having to do a serious reset, you. reset yeah. me. Would... And of course, this bit we then filmed months later because this was the very last thing filmed on season two. Hmm. After everyone had gone home and gone off to the rat party, oh, that's I right. got smuggled back to the studios, which is why my hair is slightly shorter. I got smuggled back to the studios to do this, which was another thing we were trying to keep top secret that Catherine Tate was coming in for the Christmas special. What? Who are you? 
You were at the rat party by this day, didn't you? I was getting leathered. <laughs>